Hey guys, Ventilus from Streamer Square here, and today I'm going to show you a guide for how to run a dual PC setup for streaming. We're going to go over basic theory, streaming PC hardware that you're going to need, wire setup, and software configuration. First up is basic theory. Well, why would you want or need two PCs for streaming? We're not going to go over every detail of this, but long story short, video encoding and whatever game you're playing will require a high amount of CPU power. Whenever your CPU caps out at 100%, you'll see the dreaded red letter warning appear. When this happens, you'll see what looks like dropped frames, and this is also what your viewers are gonna see too. By dedicating a computer to the encoding process, you eliminate the load from your gaming PC, allowing not only for your game to run beautifully again, but also you can increase the quality of the encoding. Now we'll go over what hardware you're going to need to set the streaming PC up properly. First, you'll need a mid to a high-end CPU, a capture card, an HDMI splitter, and an audio card with an optical in port. If you're using multiple monitors on this computer, I'd recommend picking up a GPU. I threw in an old GTX 760 in mine and just called it a day. Now keep in mind, today I'm going to be showing you my exact setup. So here's a few pieces of hardware that I'd recommend you pick up just for convenience sake. You do not need these. This is just for a little bit of extra convenience. An HDMI switch, an optical audio switch, and a stinky board. And don't worry, I'll also put links to the exact models that I have in the description down below. Okay, so now it's actually time to go to the wiring of this whole thing. First, let's go ahead and toss our PCs on the screen. We have our gaming PC and our streaming PC. Now I also have three monitors in my setup, so let's go ahead and put three monitors up there. Now I also have an Xbox and a PlayStation 4, so let's put those up there as well. Okay, let's assume you got the HDMI switch and the optical switch. Let's go ahead and put those both on the board and our HDMI splitter. Okay, let's connect the video first. So let's connect HDMIs from our PlayStation, Xbox, and PC into the HDMI switch. Then you're gonna run the HDMI switch into the HDMI splitter. Now two lines are gonna come out of the HDMI splitter. One is gonna to go to monitor one, this is your gaming PC. And then one line into the capture card in on the streaming PC. Next up, let's connect the monitors to the streaming PC. I have one on either side of my gaming monitor. Okay, video is done. Let's move on to audio. Let's take audio optical cables from the PlayStation, Xbox, and PC and run those into the optical switch. Now we're gonna run the optical from the optical switch into the optical in on the audio card that you got for your streaming PC. Now that's it for audio and video wiring. Now it's time for the microphone setup. Please keep in mind that this will vary greatly depending on what kind of equipment you have. Now the mixer board that I used for a long time was the Behringer Xenix Q802 USB. Now in the line one, I would plug in my AT2020 XLR mic. Then with the main out, I would run this into a ground loop. And from the ground loop, I would run it into a mic jack on the motherboard on the gaming PC. Now, for those of you wondering how the audio quality is from the main out to the ground to the computer, this voice that you are hearing right now is running through that exact line. Now, all that's left is to take the USB from the Behringer mixer board and plug it into your streaming PC. And that's all there really is to the mic setup. This way, your stream is going to hear the beautiful AT2020 sound, and you also are running that same exact sound to your gaming PC, so let's say you're playing a game like H1Z1 with an in-game mic, you can also talk with that same exact mic in-game, and they will hear you at the same quality. Now we're going to move on to the very last wiring section, which is your peripherals. This is going to include your keyboard, mouse, stinky board, and headset. Now what I do is I actually plug my mouse and keyboard directly into a KVM switch, which feeds into both my gaming and streaming PCs. Now, this is up to your preference. This is just something I like to do, because all I have to do is hit this nice little button right here on my desk, and I'm controlling my mouse on either computer. Go ahead and connect your headset to your streaming PC now, and if you picked up the stinky board, go ahead and connect that to your streaming PC as well. If you're wondering what this is or what I use it for, I actually use it to change the scenes on my OBS. I just key bind a couple of things. It's pretty much just like a really fancy foot pedal for the computer. And believe it or not, we are done with wiring. Now we're gonna move on to the software section. All right, guys, so now we are on the software section of this. This is the Aver Media Control. Um, these settings do not matter. Don't overthink it, don't worry about it. These settings specifically right here do not matter. Now I have a past broadcast running on my gaming PC right now. The only thing we wanna check is whether or not it is in fact capturing the video. 
So again, these settings right here do not matter. You're going to control those from inside of OBS or XSplit. So if we hit OK, we just want to verify that this right here is picking up the video in from the gaming PC wiring that we set up earlier. So as you can see, it is very clearly working. Here's my ugly face right here. I'm running through. I don't know. I'm probably yip yapping about something. I don't know. But nonetheless, we can see that it's working. So first off, just verify that your card is working. Then we can move on from there. All right, guys, now we're going to go ahead and move on over to the OBS portion of this. And I do apologize for any uhs and stutters that I may say right here because I'm going to try to do this all in one go. So the first thing that you're going to want to do when setting up your OBS for the dual capturing is pretty simple. You're going to go to your global sources. You're going to go ahead and press add, and then you're going to add a video capture device. Now, the video capture device, we're going to go ahead and name as capture card. You hit OK, and essentially you're going to click this to, that's right, you guessed it, your capture card. Now, we didn't worry about the settings earlier because, well, you set all the settings right here. So I run mine at a scale of essentially what this is, 720, and I run it at 60 frames a second. Uh, the reason why I don't run it at 1080 is because, unfortunately, with the Aver Medias at 1080, you can only run at 30 frames a second. But that's a story for another time. So let's go ahead and put this right back down to 60. So this is 720, essentially, at 60 frames a second. And we're going to go ahead and hit OK. Now, for me, it's going to say, you can't do this because you've already done this. But you won't get this. You'll just get an OK message. So I'll go ahead and press cancel. I'll press cancel. And then from there, after you have already added this to your global sources, you right click, you press add. Then from there, you're going to go to global source and you're going to go to main. Press OK. And then from there, you will see whatever you have being played on your gaming PC. And as I said, I was playing a past broadcast. You can see my ugly face again. Yay, ugly faces. And essentially, that's all there is to that. Now, from here, you can go ahead and add on overlays. You can add on whatever you want. But this is your streaming capture and stuff like that. So last but not least, we are now on to the audio portion. So the next question I'm sure you're asking is, how do you get your audio from the gaming PC to the streaming PC so not only you, but also your audience can hear it? Pretty simple, actually. What we're going to do, I'm going to show this to you in a little bit of a weird manner, but we're going to go like this. I'm going to take this screen right here and go e There we go. All right. Now, this on the right portion is my gaming PC. On the left is my streaming PC. Now, this is going to be all sorts of fun. So what we're going to do is go to your audio, go to your recording devices. Now, what you're going to do, this is really crazy. The optical cord that you are running from either your Switch or directly from your gaming PC to your streaming PC, you're simply going to go like this. You are now in your recording tab. You're going to go to the digital in, which is the optical cable. Go to right click, properties, listen, and listen to this device. When we hit this, we should hear music. And there's the music. That's all there is to it. If you guys have been messing around with mixer boards and so on and so forth, yes, they are awesome, but they're also a gigantic hassle and they require a fair amount of investment to set up. I really recommend the optical way because it's optical sound. It will sound crystal clear and it's amazing. I hope this guy saved you some headaches. My name is Ventilus and I hope you guys have a fantastic night.